Welcome back friends. In this video tutorial, we'll be talking about the replication of single-stranded plasmids. Now, uh, there are different plasmids that are present in bacterial cell. Uh, they could be uh, double-stranded or single-stranded. Double-stranded plasmids can be replicated very easily utilizing the normal replication scheme by production of replication fork. Uh, and in this case, you can see the replication bubble and the fork, move, uh, fork movement is uh, done in both the directions. And then finally, replication is done. But in case of uh, the single-stranded DNAs, uh, the replication scheme is uh, uh, slightly different. In that case, uh, what happens normally, in case of most of the bacteria, uh, they adopt a different situation. That the single-stranded DNA they got at the end, like here in this picture, cheap terminal end of the single-stranded DNA, this stretch is refolded back and re annealed uh, with each other. So the nucleotide sequences of the three prime stretch re annealed with each other and they give this 3 prime uh, open uh, frame here so 3 prime hydroxyl is there and we know that uh, from the 3 prime hydroxyl dna polymerase can add nucleotide sequences so 3 prime let me change it sorry let me take the color Now here you can see this is the 3 prime end. Uh, now this 3 prime end is going to fold uh, in this way and after some time it folds in such a way and this is the 3 prime hydroxyl uh, region here and from the 3 prime hydroxyl new DNA nucleotide sequences are synthesized continuously and then finally what we end up with we end up with the production of a double stranded plasmid. Then these strands can be separated and all these things will be done. Now here a loop is formed due to the uh, bending of the DNA at the 3' end, as you can see in, here in this case. This is a type of secondary structure which facilitates the access of this 3' end, which facilitates the access of rest of the chain uh, of the single stranded DNA, which is very very important. Okay, then after the synthesis of this DNA, uh, other strand, this uh, loop like structure is cleaved. The structure is cleaved because uh, they need to resolve uh, these two DNA strands together. So we need to cleave from here and we end up with double stranded DNA. That's how uh, the replication of a single stranded plasmid is done and I hope it will help you. Thank you.